All right, so invitation is take something in your hands. I have my piece of wood here, and uh, uh, as we normally do that, uh, tap into the uh, haptic information, so soft, smooth, rough, round, sharp, warm, cold, so whatever there is. So give your give your tactile part in your brain some inf input. And then again, it doesn't matter how fast you move, slow it down by half. And then find a spot somewhere between your fingers, fingertips, palm, where it feels nice. And if your mind is still rumbling, that's fine. Let your mind do what it does. And slowly bring your attention to the sensation there in your skin, in your hands. And play with some different settings with eyes open or eyes closed. Normally it's easier to tap in by closing the eyes. And some people, they have that already embodied, they can easier keep their eyes open and stay present at the same time with their skin. And you either want to touch your hand with the object or hold the object and touch the object with your hand, whatever works better for you. When you find a spot somewhere that feels tinglish or pleasant or even pleasurable, I invite you for about three, four, five minutes just to stay there and just to feel. Important here is nothing to produce, nothing to deliver, nothing to give, nothing to get, nowhere to go. It's just the pure sensation there, nothing else. And the invitation is to make that your default, your main attention magnet.
All right. It's good for now and slow it down till you stop. Stay there for a moment. And um, I had just an interesting experience just before this call. I just made a video about for men getting off addiction to porn and uh, by doing that instead of stop touching themselves completely I said just like no no touch yourself more but stop visualizing and fantasizing any images or any scenes or anything that turns you on and find the turn on in your skin and do that for a few weeks or a few months to kind of reprogram your nervous system to go away from this typical visual imprint of turn on through watching something into now you need to go into physical feeling something you have to land in your body through your skin away from all this kind of imagination and um, and uh, I suggested to do that to just really land in their body now doing it myself recognizing how important that is and there's no substitution for it either you do it or you don't <laughs> and doing it makes all the difference when you watch what you do you have a direct experience of what you observe but when you observe something else that is not relatable to that what you feel you actually create a separation and what i suggest to men who are just having a porn addiction and trying to get off visual stimuli and they go like on cold turkey as if you stop you know cocaine or heroin or any kind of drugs but when you record yourself and your self-pleasure so you observe yourself and see what you do even though you do that with your partner with your girlfriend you know but not doing it for the sake of the goal of the climax you do that for the sake of watching yourself having pleasure what you do is you go away from the goal-oriented dopamine dynamic into the present moment serotonin and oxytocin related experience and that is the reprogramming that's the rewiring of the nervous system this capacity to literally come in the body and feel um, and that's much much better as if you watch something that is not related to your own experience in the moment when you watch porn it's a voyeuristic experience you watch somebody else having the experience and you tune yourself in what is happening you watch other people that is not related to what you're doing but if you would record yourself and you watch like a mirror you watch what you do but when you record that and then you play it and watch it again yourself what you just did on your own or with your partner and that turns you on you have a direct mirror of yourself in relationship to your own experience and that amplifies the reprogramming because you have no relationship with, with, with anybody. This is what this noveling and porn is about. People use that to keep this dopamine level with something exciting always up. You know, when that dopamine drops, you need something higher and then you go on a, on a, on a deeper, stronger imprint or impression. But when you do that with your partner, and you're feeling kind of just like oh that feels kind of really awkward then you're coming into this connection with this feelings that you don't want to feel right and then when you let them come up then all this shame and the fear and the guilt and embarrassment and awkwardness and all that stuff comes up but that's where the healing is happening the direct route is just like this is not the only thing that exists but when you make that your priority of centralizing feeling your body with somebody else the visual stimuli and, and, and hearing and smelling is all there and important but this is more like you know you just create feedback loops and these feedback loops they're, they're giving you a reassurement that you are in the right place with your, with your partner but um, you don't make any of the other uh, uh, essential stimuli as, as your priority. You just keep your skin as your priority of, of um, stimuli. And when you do that, the, the, the rest is a bonus. Of course, the visualize 
is, is, is important specifically for us men. But when you do that with your partner in connection with somebody, it's a complete different show. Everything is good that, that gives you kind of joy and pleasure in the body. That, you know, the body is a, is a massive pleasure temple, as, as we all know. And, you know, even though when it comes to trying to resetting and rebooting porn addiction, just touch yourself, pleasure yourself, get turned on by yourself, but not with the goal. You just like get away from the goal. Just stay with the sensation of pleasure. That's the main focus. I set a timer, 5, 10, 15 minutes just for pleasure and don't go to the goal and then the timer is off and then you just go and whatever, do whatever you do, right? Okay, thanks for joining today and seeing you next time, man.